Well, hi there. Um, what we're going to do today is a quick diagnostics with the new ISTA Plus, which used to be called the ISTA D system. It's the BMW and Rolls Royce Mini, etc., uh, dealer diagnostic system for uh, those vehicles, those brands. And um, as you can see, this version is actually version. 4.08 which came out in uh, January 2018 so okay what we're going to do today is a quick diagnostics just to, just to show you how to use it briefly so once you've loaded it up you want to go to you want to make sure operations new and either VIN readout data is checked in my case I'm going to do readout vehicle data and then down the bottom here I'll choose complete identification quite a big system so you do need a very fast laptop with, uh, with, a, with a large amount of, of RAM I'd recommend a minimum 4 gig of RAM so what it's doing now is picking up the VIN and other information about the vehicle such as the engine number or the engine type And as you can see at the top here, you've got the last seven digits of the VIN. It's a one series E81, etc. The system will automatically go to the next page, which is um, the control tree, as you can see here. It's highlighted up here. And what this does, it picks up all the ECUs in the vehicle. The ECUs that are green indicate that they're perfectly fine, with no fault picked up. The modules that are amber normally mean that there's a fault stored. And quite often you might get some that might be red, and that would indicate a major problem or ECUs not responding, etc. As you can see down here, you've got the um, information on what they mean. Green, no fault memory. Amber, with fault memory. Red, not responding. And there's blue there as well. There is known faults with this vehicle, including deployed airbags, so um, I know exactly what the problems are. Okay, so we can do a couple of things here. We can, we can actually go into each individual ECU, so you just highlight it, for example, I'll, I'll highlight this, uh, the DDE is the diesel fuel electronics um, and then you can call up ECU functions down here and what this does is it gives you the information about the ECU and it lets you run some tests this this system is a little bit slow because it is a customer's laptop that they have supplied myself for the installation of ISTA um, it's actually a dual core. I wouldn't recommend a dual core. I'd recommend something a bit more faster than that if you was to gonna use your own laptop. Um, okay, so here we have it. The DDE, it's got the part number and all the information about it. You can do sort all sorts of tests, sort of like start-stop function if installed. You can sort of, you know, read the state of it, etc. And you could do sorts of tests here. And you can delete fault memory here as well. Um, I'm gonna close it for now and um, I'm going to display fault memory which this page gives you all the fault codes of every ECU um, DD, yeah, at the top here okay, so JA means yes in German I'm not sure why it's displaying JA the previous versions didn't despite the system being in English just so I show that to you up in the settings, see English here British English is checked um, so uh, I'm not sure why it said JA and no, as in any faults? No. It displays in English. Um, it's probably just a glitch with this particular version, but you'll get used to that. That's, that's the only German part of this system. Ja, yes. Okay, so we can go and do a... Um, so say we had an issue with, I don't know, the, the GLOW system. We can calculate a test plan. There's a lot 
lot of faults on this vehicle, so it's running a little bit slower than it would. Plus the slow laptop, but we'll get there in the end. So they list the faults in priority. Um, so let's just, let's just stick to the top here, safety system ignition circuit. So you'd highlight that and display. And then what this would do is give you a bit more information about this issue including wiring diagrams because yeah it's, it's the airbag system so like I say I know the fault with this I don't need to look at any of the wiring diagrams but you can see you can see that they've all come up it's, it's a complete system with the wiring diagrams built in, into it as well and um, So what you do if for the complete um, test plan would be to uh, continue here. You can read all this information. It's up to you. And it basically gives you a guided test. Um, so we know that all these airbags are actually deployed, including the belt tensioners. Um, there's no description for this fault code because the description is actually here. So, fault code 0093A8 is the driver's airbag is deployed, which is the, um, I believe that's the uh, steering wheel airbag. And the tensioners as well, belt tensioners, battery terminals gone. And you can continue um, doing the uh, fault finding if you wasn't sure what the fault was at this stage you can continue and um, it will take you through like I say guided tests and it's really as simple as that um, and uh, there is another to close it down by the way you just you just close this little cross here just a quick um, tutorial I want to show you how to open and use a uh, well not use but just open istp um, so it's quite a big program once you launch istp from the desktop you'll be, be presented with a menu and you have to pick the, um, the option that suits your needs so the first one is for bmw vehicle uh, cars second one is for bmw motorbikes electric vehicles minis and rolls royces so um, i'm just going to pick the first one for the sake of this video and what you'll see down here is the piece started. You see a little grey box down here, and this will take a couple of minutes to load up. It'll be quicker on a, like I say, on a on a faster laptop. One thing you can do, you can actually right click on this little square. ISTP uh, icon, right click and you can bring up an ISTP user manual so you can, um, I'll just bring that up now no, you won't be able to see it um, but it's a, it's, a, it's a quick manual how to use the system uh, like I say, ISTP is for programming only I'll just scroll down and show you lots of information here on how to use it It will briefly look like um, it has stopped loading, but it hasn't. It's, it is still loading in the background. And um, any second now, it should pop up. So there's one thing to note. You shouldn't be running Mr. Plus and Mr. P at the same time. You must run each program separately. Close them down thoroughly before using the other one and um, more so with Vista P 
you must close Insta P down thoroughly before shutting down the laptop. Failure to do so will result in um, a corruption of Insta P and it will need to be um, repaired. And here we are with the Insta P uh, main screen. So what you want to do, I've already got my uh, ICOM head attached. So to set it up, you just simply create new session. And you want to leave this as it is. Select server automatically. Click continue. And what it will do now is it will try and pick up the head that you've got connected, the ICOM head, or whatever head you'll be using. And uh, it should display it on the next screen, which it does. You highlight that, and then you click connect. and then it will start trying to pick up the vehicle but I don't have a vehicle connected so it's not going to pick anything up so for now um, I'm going to close this down